do you think I can actually throw this with a bait caster? This is a fly lure on a bait caster right now. That's it right there. That's it. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm Brian, the CEO. And if you've been following the channel, you know that I've taken out a few fly fishermen, fly anglers, to try and catch peacock bass. Peacock bass are a fish that we have down here in South Florida, and people from all over come to try to catch them. And when they do, they call me to put them on. I'm fly, baby! <laughs> hey! Oh my God. You little bugger! That's all it was, the little flick of the wrist. You were so right! <laughs> Got it. There it is. There it is. Dude, that was sick. I got that on camera too, my guy. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Appreciate First it. peacock bass. And it's a beaut too. One of those fly fishermen was Chauncey. And when he was fishing, he was using these game changer lures that the peacock bass and the largemouth were just going crazy over, you know? So I was thinking to myself, if I can get a couple of those and try to cast them on a bait caster, would I be able to do it? And would I be able to catch fish? Today I'm using a mini finesse game changer fly from Blaine Chocolate. Here it is. It's on an articulated spine. Um, I'm not sure the exact weight, but it's about a 2.75 inch lure. So comment below, do you think I can actually throw this with a bait caster? Because that's the goal today. First of all, to just to cast it with a bait caster. And second, to try and catch a fish. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you like the fishing and the outdoors or anything like that, you know, even travel, make sure you hit subscribe right now. It's like, there's a little button literally right there that you can click to uh, subscribe and then turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. These are some badass little lures. Like I said, they're made for fly fishing, but their movement in the water is crazy. The second they hit the water, the peacock bass and the large mouse just kind of got their attention. And like I said, the way it moved in the water and the shape, they were just crushing it all day. And I decided, you know what, I got an ultralight from Cast King. I got the Kestrel Elite and I can cast out some pretty lightweight lures. Do I think I can cast one of these? Well, you know what? That's why we're here today and I'm going to try. Give you another nice little look at this here. It's jointed all the way down. It's got a little bit of weight. I think I can cast it out. I'm not sure, but we are going to find out right now. So first off, this is the uh, Cast King Kestrel Elite right there. It is the lightest bait casting reel of this type on the market. I think it's right around four ounces. And I can cast out some really light lures. I mean, this is a small little jig and I can cast it pretty damn far. But yeah, never used a fly lure before. But we're gonna see how it goes today. I'm just gonna use a basic cinch knot and hope that I can actually cast it out. The problem is, I don't know that there's even fish moving around right now hunting because of the weather. This is going to be a challenge. Does it even pull? Oof, it doesn't even pull line down. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. I might be able to pull this off. Without birds nesting, I don't know. But we are gonna try this. Let's see, I'm gonna let, let my thumb go. Eee. How light does it have to go? Ooh. I must have a snag right here. Oh yeah, there's a little snag in the line. There we go. Might take me a few casts and bird nests. The other issue I have right now is the wind is like literally blowing this way in my face. So I don't know if I'm gonna be successful or not, but you know what? Let me get my GoPro on 
and uh, that way we can show both angles and we'll go from there. All right, got the GoPro on. And once again, this is what I'm throwing. I don't know if anyone's ever thrown a fly lure with a bait catcher before, but today we're gonna try it. See how it goes. I do not see any fish. There's no sunlight. So this is uh, not great, but that's first cast. Oof, that is tough. But it does swim nice. Oh, you know what? Now that there's weight on this from the water, that is really a game changer. Oh, let me check my, just in case, let me see. Okay guys, that is a fly lure that I just cast out. A little bit of bird's nest, a little bit. I gotta just adjust a little bit more, but nothing I can't work with. Now it's just a matter of finding some fish. One more cast over here. Oop, 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 birdie, birdie, birdie. Okay, so th this is more of a challenge. I, I, I got a little too cocky. Definitely got to adjust here. I'm way too loose. Let's see. Try that. Ooh. Hey, work in progress. Let me check my brakes too. Let's see. Ooh, that's why. That water added a lot more weight. Should be able to whip it now. There we go. Getting better. So had a couple little issues in the initial cast, you know, because it's so lightweight and you know, before it even got wet, it was like no weight. So first one was kind of short cast right in the water. Then it got too heavy for the, my settings because I, I, I set it for not being wet. You know, I had to kind of manipulate the settings a little bit, but I, I can cast it. Now the goal is to try and catch a fish, right? So guys stay tuned, I'll be right back. You can see it's starting to get a little gray up here again. Still got some blues back there, but the wind's blowing this way. So that blue sky is disappearing as the uh, clouds over here start moving in. So uh, I don't know how much time I have to fish, but I'm gonna try and fish. This is a private lake that I have access to, but I only use this corner. Um, so if I can't catch something here, I'm gonna try and hop to another spot. So you guys can come along with me. But uh, yeah, let's give her a go. Oh, bird's nest. It's gonna be the theme of the day. It is light weight, definitely lightweight. My issue is the shelf is really far out. Come over here. Maybe I could change the lighting a little bit. Oh, you forgot me. The camera forgot to follow me. Hey, there we go. A little bit better, a little bit better. Got the friendly neighborhood parrots flying back over there. I don't know if you can hear them on the mic or not. I mean, all I need is that sun to crack out and have some fish come to the surface because the water's warming up. But the amount of rain that we've had, I don't know if anything's coming out today. Oh, it's even better. It's even better. I'm gonna show you how it looks in the water. Now that you guys see how it swims, it's definitely time to try and catch one. And I was holding the camera with one hand and pushing the rod with the other, so I couldn't really get the full action on it. Um, when I pick up a little more speed, the tail just beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna rock with this. Whether I catch a fish or not, I'm just enjoying being out here, man because the weather, like I said, has been atrocious. Last week, it was excruciating hot. You know, I had to actually uh, recover on the uh, couch for a day because of my anemia. But, uh, oh no, that one was a bad one. You know, being stuck in the house from the rain, you know, for someone who's used to being outdoors every single day, 
you know being in the house yeah i was in the studio filming stuff but it's not the same you know it's definitely not the same come over here let's get that trees out of the background so uh look i don't see any fish here i'm gonna pack it up and we're gonna go on to another location okay all right we're at another spot i still have the uh fly lure on here that game changer Kessel Elite from Cast King Ultra Light Setup. You know, the Peragi 2. It's a two piece, very lightweight travel rod. Let's cast out, see if I can get a fish. Make sure my angle on the GoPro is good. See my hands in action. Get that over there. Oop, oop. Come on. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Come on, give me a fish. I need just something to come out of the vegetation and attack me. Let me try and get over that ledge. Straight ahead over here. Ooh, that's a good cast. For me to cast that far with a bait caster on an ultra light, I don't even know the weight. I have to check the weight of this lure, but I know it's uh, typically cannot cast this light of a lure on a bait caster. So I'm doing something right. Cast King's doing something right. Ah, <sighs> it is getting warm. So that's a blessing because that means more peacocks are gonna start coming closer to the surface because they like that warm. So guys, I'm genuinely at a loss of words because I have not seen any fish today. It's almost 11 o'clock, the sun is out. It's a beautiful day. There's a nice breeze. It's not as hot as it was last week. The only difference is we've had a ton of rain for the last four or five days. Um, and the water temperature is the only thing that I could think of right now that is preventing me from seeing fish. They're not even coming up on the ledge into the shallows. So wherever these fish are, they're staying down low. And this is the fly lure. It's not meant to go down to the bottom. I'd have to sit there for like a minute, two minutes to let it slowly sink about this fast to work it through the weeds and stuff. Um, and then I'll probably get snagged because it's got a hook on the bottom. So I'm going to keep trying to bounce from spot to spot. But just so you know, this is not the easiest task. Now, casting the lure, I'm very surprised I was able to do it. So big, huge shout out to Cast King because they created a BFS bait casting reel that I'm able to cast a freaking fly lure with. That's got hardly any weight. Um, I'd have to look at the weight on it, but it's not very heavy and that's it i'm gonna go find another spot to try and fish because damn it i need to catch one Whew. once again we are at another location got the fly fly lure here little game changer i'm trying to change the game for these uh bait casting setups i'm using 15 pound braid with uh 15 pound fluoro that's just it's, it's what I need to use down here in Miami for peacock bass and snook and stuff if I'm trying to finesse fish. Um, but yeah, this is a freaking fly lure that I'm casting with a bait caster. So it seems impossible, but don't believe me, just watch. Look at that. All the way out there. All the way out there. Now we just need fish. Let that out there. Give it a nice, nice little sink. A nice little sink in the kitchen where the peacocks are gonna eat on this drop right here because I need a damn fish. Watch, fa, come on, fa, 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 right on the edge. Come crush. Ah. No, the water looks so pristine has to be a fish here it's too nice not to have a fish you know never see it's just so perfect that you know you're gonna hook up but so far no like I said, it it's it's a summer day and it's beautiful out right now the breeze has got to be like a mid to upper 70 breeze so it's nice and cool today even though the sun's burning me a little bit it's still nice and cool a miami life Where's my, where's my first catch of the day, guys? Comment, hurry up, fish. And I'm gonna heart that comment because these fish need to hurry up. Hurry up, fish. 
See, I'm left with the, the question. Do I keep casting right here or do I move? Or I just let this keep sinking down right there. Man, I got a lot of clips that are like seven, eight minutes that I just have to delete today because I ain't catching shit. Ooh, something just came over the ledge. Something just came over the ledge. He came in like a bat out of hell. Why do you not want to feed right now? He's looking. He's looking. But not the way I want him to look. I have standards. I want them to look a certain way. Thought I saw something out there, you know? But if I don't cast to it, I don't ever really know, right? There's a culvert down there. I'm gonna try and hit that culvert. Sometimes there's schools that kind of cruise around outside of it. So we'll see if that works. But you know, for now, just stopping and popping, you know, stopping and popping. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I literally just walked up and there was a whole school of peacocks right there. And I scared them because I'm a jerk. That's it right there. That's it. <laughs> On the freaking lure guys. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, not so quick. Not so quick. Not so quick. Not so quick. On a fly lure. Come on. He's fighting still. He's still fighting. Still fighting. Get in here. Let me get him in here in the gill because I don't want that hook in my thumb. Peacock bass on a fly lure. Love it. Love it. Now I want to try and get some more. Yeah. Nice fight, guy. Let's get you back in the water. Who's off? I thought I spooked them all away. I mean, I snuck up and I looked back and they were gone. So, man, let's, uh, Let's see if I can get some more. Oh yeah, let's get it out there. Oh, I'm on again. Another one, another one. <laughs> They're fighting over it. They're fighting over it. There's a whole school of fish fighting over this. I'm gonna have to put this GoPro in the water. This is a beautiful peacock bass, guys. This is another beautiful fish, another one. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Right there. Fly lure action all day. Let me not dip my rod in the water. Get this bad boy back in there. And we're off. Yeah, he froze. Hold up. There you go. There you go. He turned upside down and kind of. Just got stuck. Well, sweet, there you have it. I was able to actually cast with the bait caster a fly lure. So like I said, I don't know if people have done it before, but I did it today and I'm pretty damn proud of myself and I caught some fish. So, you know, for me, that's just a double win for the day. Plus I got a video, so let's just say it's a triple win. I have my mechanic coming for the boat tomorrow. Uh, I found one issue, I have a small gas leak. So let me get that fixed before I take the boat on the water. Um, but other than that, you know, she's ready to go. So we're gonna put some snooks, some tarp in, some peacock bass. Look, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm already ready. Look at that, I got a new Cast King reel here. I'm gonna be taking this Caspin Elite on the boat. And here it is right here. It is a bait caster, salt water, power reel. I can bottom jig i can catch tarpon snook big fish so i'm gonna try and put the biggest fish possible on this reel here um they actually sent me some inshore setups so so i have the whole uh, do i have enough room to bring this in here there we go look at that nice inshore rod um i've got three of them different sizes to go with the different lures that they gave i mean to go with the different reels they gave me this is an eight foot 
fast action. So you know I want to have fun with this. Um, definitely, definitely targeting Tarpon and Snook. Um, permit, even Snapper and stuff. So whatever I can get, we're going to have fun. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have a lot of stuff coming up um, that you don't want to miss. So don't just subscribe by clicking that button, but also turn on your notification bell. Guys, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.